friends, welcome back to Second Star to the Left. I'm Michelle, and this is my daughter, Billy. Hi. And here's where we'll share board game reviews, ramblings, and a few wrong turns along the scenic route. Today we're here to talk about a new game coming out called for Northwood, which is a solo trick-taking game that was designed by Will Sue with art by Will Sue, which is absolutely adorable. And it's published by Side Room Games, who were kind enough to give us this copy to review. That means that some of the art may not be final, so keep that in mind while you're seeing if this game would be a good fit for you. The rules also might be subject to change, and we might not have gotten them all right anyway. <laughs> if I catch any mistakes that we made that I know of, I will leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, you're, we're gonna give you a quick overview and a look at this game, and you can decide whether or not this one's for you. For us, this was something that I was interested in immediately. I play a lot of solo games, and trick-taking games are some of my favorite games. Starting when I was really young playing Pinochle, moving up playing Fox in the Forest and, and Skull King and all the other popular trick-taking games that are out now. So let me show you what they pack into this nice tiny little box. You're going to have 24 animal cards, which are your rulers of the fiefs, which will be important later. And for the purposes of this basic setup, we're going to remove any with a little crown in the corner and set them aside. You'll be using them later once you know the rules a little bit better. So we're gonna take them all out and set them to the side. For this round, we're going to be using the four jacks as our allies. And the rest of these will be the rulers that go onto the fiefs. So we're just gonna shuffle them up a little bit. We're gonna start by laying out the eight fiefs and their little trail marker in the middle that we'll be visiting during the game. We're going to take this card here, our marker, and set it up top. We're going to set up our four allies, one of each suit right here. And we're going to put those rulers right into their fiefs. What we have left then are our dialogue cards. And we have four suits, leaves, flowers, eyes, and claws, and there's numbered one through eight in each suit. We're gonna shuffle these up, and then we're just about ready to start. So I'm gonna read you a little bit about what Northwood is about. For Northwood is a solo hand management and precision trick-taking game. Your task is to peacefully unite the Woodland Kingdom by visiting eight animal fiefs and engaging their rulers in dialogue to win them over to your side. One of the things that I like about this game is that it's not a battle. You're going to the rulers of each of these fiefs and trying to unite the kingdom to your side. Now, if you fail, you turn them over and they become hostile <laughs> to your kingdom. But all in all, what you're trying to do is unite everyone. And if you do, then you win. You're trying to make friends. We are trying to make friends with adorable woodland creatures. So to start out, you're going to draw up a hand of eight cards. <laughs> you're going to see that I order my cards the same way that I would order a hand of pinochle cards. <laughs> so you can do it however you want to. But for me, it's going to go lowest to highest in each suit. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Okay, you're going to take a look at your cards and decide just how many tricks you think you can win. Zero, one, two, three, or four, five, six, seven. In order to win, you are going to have to convince the adorable creatures on the outside fiefs to be united with you. Or all of them except one of the sides. All of them except one. But that's really difficult because when you're done, the scoring is gonna be based on how far from this little signpost they are, with the ones closer to the middle being worth less and the ones out on the edge being worth the most because they're the hardest to get. Now, when you look at your hand, you're gonna know that the cards go one through eight. So if you have a whole bunch of eights in your hand, then it's likely you're gonna win a lot of tricks. And the other thing to keep in mind is that you're gonna take this little scorecard and you're gonna move it to the number of tricks that you think you're going to win. Oh boy. <laughs> 
How many do you think you're going to win? I think we could potentially win. <laughs> Shush you. I think we could potentially win six if we use the powers here. Let's do seven. You these, wanted to do seven. I know. I want to do six. So these are our allies, which give us a little... In the basic game, it's your jacks, which have simpler to understand powers. And they're going to give us powers if we turn them. You can use one per dialogue. Once these rulers become allies, then you're allowed to bring them down for one single dialogue to use their power. So these have more advanced powers. So you're kind of playing both a short game and a long game as far as strategy goes. And a dialogue is one hand of cards, not one trick. Right. right? It's one hand of cards. Okay. Just yes. make it sure. Yes. I think that we can get six tricks out of this if we use our powers wisely. Now, you never lead in this game. The dialogue always begins with the ruler starting off, and you have to follow suit if you can. If you can't follow suit, then you can play any card you want, including the trump card, which would beat any other suit. For example, on this card, eyes would be the trump suit. I only have one of those, which isn't great, but <laughs> I have a plan. <laughs> you might have aimed a little high. I didn't aim high. We got this. The other catch is that it's not six or more tricks. It's not four or more tricks. It is exactly six tricks that you have to get and you have to finish playing out your hand. So you can't get six and then say, I'm done. I, would, <laughs> I don't want to do anymore. You have to finish out your hand. The only way that the dialogue stops in that thief is if your hand is empty or if the draw deck is empty, which I really don't think, I think once I've had that happen. Mm. But you have to be using a lot of powers to get that to happen. So let's, let's see how we do. The dialogue is going to begin with a six of claws, which I can beat. If you can beat that trick, you put it into your score pile. And if not, it winds up in the discard pile with the beginning of the dialogue. So we have one. Let's see. The seven of eyes. And this is where we're going to have trouble because I only have a three. And that's the trump suit. There's not much I can do about that. But I would like to exchange the current ruler with a neutral ruler on the same side of the signpost. So since they're all neutral, since we have neither won nor lost, I'm going to turn this and exchange this King of Eyes for the Queen of Leaves, hmm. which now gives me three cards in the trump suit. Let's see what you got to say now, Queen of Leaves. <laughs> So there's a three of flowers, which we can beat. And then, oh, look at that, a six, which we can beat. Five, which we cannot beat. And even though I have cards in the trump suit, I still have to follow the lead, which puts that two down. Hmm. Okay. A two, which we can beat, but now we have a problem. I'm not going to win with this one. <laughs> That's not going to have. So I'm going to use the power of the Jack of Eyes, which lets me draw two cards and then discard two. Ooh. So one. That's pretty fancy. Two. I'm going to get rid of these two. And I'm going to hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> so with this one, I can beat the one. And this one, I'm going to beat with an eight. I'm out of cards. And that leaves me with, what's that? Six cards. Nice. Six cards means we win this dialogue. And we have brought the Queen of Leaves over to our side. And you can tell because she now cheers for Northwood. <laughs> I love this art. It's, She's adorable. It's adorable. And if you look, we now have the ability, if we need it, to use the current ruler's ability. It's a parrot, so it mimics ah. ability. Nice. But since this dialogue is over, we're going to reshuffle the cards reset our allies, decide if we want to bring her down, but I don't think we do just yet. I think we want to keep going a little bit more. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The parrot stays for a minute. Nobody should mock my shuffling. Everyone should mock her shuffling. <laughs> These cards are not rearranged at all. They are. This is very shuffly. <laughs> I have played a lot of this game while we had it. And I have not had it be the same game twice. So 
because you're constantly shuffling up the rulers, I mixed in the advanced rulers. As you start to learn and memorize their powers, you get a better feel for how many tricks you can take. So let's draw up our hand and see how many tricks we can take. All right, so this is our hand this time. Only one blue. There's only one blue. Only one eye. There's, Sorry, only, only, one there's only one eyes. <laughs> there's only one eight. We have three flowers, so we could pretty easily get this five, I think. So let's try that because easily you say. No, I do. I think almost too easy. I think there's so a danger that we could take easy. more. So if you lose, I get to laugh. But I don't want to go up here unless I get a hand of a good hand of eyes. And down here, what I would like to do is get a bunch of claws and then use the power that says I can discard the current ruler suit. And then we should be able to win that one. So let's Ooh, that'll be nice. let's Where's go that? for five. It's in here. Discard all cards that match the current ruler suit. So it's really nice. useful to get that zero if you need it. Mm -hmm. And then the one that lets you draw back up to eight lets you get up to seven. But with one... I'm not feeling too comfortable. So let's start a dialogue. The King of Flowers. He's Look so how precious. Cute he is. Look at the little face. So we're going to start with a six of leaves, which we can beat, so we will. And then a three of flowers, which we can also beat. This is what's going to happen, though, right? Okay. <laughs> we're up to three. We're up to we're up to three. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Four. Four. <laughs> we need one more, right? It's a lot of cards left for one more. That's the one more we would like to lose now. Yeah, I don't. I don't know about that. Okay. Okay. I don't have to play the trump card, so we're not going to. <laughs> we're gonna put this. <laughs> No, we're going to get rid of this. Then we're going to use the power that says discard all cards that match that suit and get rid of that too. And then, oh, shoo, <laughs> that was really close. But we, we did, did it. it. We have five. So now Yay. the king of flowers is officially on our side. He'll be over for tea later. So now we reset our allies, we shuffle up the cards, and we pick a new fief to visit. Okay, so now I could use the king's powers if I want to discard two cards whose values sum exactly nine. That's sometimes a difficult power to make work, depending on what's in your hand. Could use the queen of leaves to use the current ruler's ability. Does anybody have anything good? Well, let's drop our hand and then we'll see what we get. So what do we want to go for? We don't want to go for the, I mean, we could get the four. I have one of these, but I do have eights and sevens. I could probably get the four pretty easy. Well, then if it's easy, you should aim higher or lower. I don't think I can get zero because if I discard the cards of that suit, I still have a pretty high card unless that suit comes out. Do you want to go for the zero? You got this. Okay. We're going to go for the zero just so you can see. Okay. So right off the bat, before we even start a dialogue with the Queen of Claws, I am going to use the Jack of Flowers to get rid of all of my claws. That won't give me an automatic win then on hands where I can't match a suit. So if I can't match the suit, I just lose that trick. The problem is that I have a pretty high seven. This might have been a mistake. Nah. This might have been a mistake. If, if a leaf comes out, we're going to be in trouble, but we're going to gamble that it's a different suit that comes out first. Okay. All right. We lost that one. That's good. Uh, let's see. A five of claws. Oh no, I can't beat it with my seven of flowers. Mm. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, I... Never mind. I'm yeah. dumb. Okay. Never mind. Don't scare me. <laughs> so now we have a four of flowers and I'm going to get rid of my highest card because I don't have any flowers. Oops, which gives us two ones left. We should be able to lose with In these two theory. ones. There's the five and a one of eyes and a five and a one of leaves. Hey. Yay, we didn't win at all. <laughs> Woo! 
which is good for us. What's the Queen of Claws power? Draw the top card from the deck, the discard pile, and the score pile. Okay. All right, so we'll reset our allies here. I'm going to reshuffle the cards. We now have three new allies. Four of these tricks are Can definitely mine. Oh, same no. side. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for the outer edges. Wait. Just to make it exciting. And then decide... Is the current now? Look at the top three cards of the deck. You can return those cards in the same order or shuffle the deck. That's a pretty good power, right? That's not bad at all. So if I take the... But what would she be replacing? Um, Probably exchange the current ruler because King of Eyes wouldn't help me at all. So let's just do it. Let's take the Queen of Leaves, put her here. She might be able to help us. She might not. We'll see what we get. We got to get seven tricks, which going to be difficult. I might have made a mistake. Same as the zero. You know, I don't know. You got this. Okay. The first one is the four. We're going to win that trick with a seven of leaves. It's a nice dialogue we're having with the queen of eyes. Next one is a five. There we go. I'm going to use this power because it seems like it might be worth it to use it. So I'm going to tap this to use the current ruler's ability, which lets me look at the top three cards. This down, we'll look at the top three cards, and then either keep them or reshuffle. We're, we're, hmm. <laughs> well, I get to put them back in the same order or reshuffle. We're gonna reshuffle the deck because those three cards are no good for us. I thought you just reshuffled those three. No, it said re return them to the same order or shuffle the deck. Oh, okay. So I'm good at reading. Since those cards weren't good, we're gonna take our chances that maybe I shuffled well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, we got this. We got this. Okay, here we go. Right off the bat, that is no good. I can't win that one, but um, it's not really gonna hurt us too much because it was just a one. Okay, a five. We can win that. One gives us three wins. Here we go. Six. Four wins. I don't think I can. Well, we can use that power to. Let's use Jack of Eyes and take two cards and discard two. That was bad one. <laughs> that one's not much better, but um, keep that one because it's a true card. And we'll get rid of these two. We just held on to this one because at least it's the right suit, and we'll see what happens. Okay. A two. And I win another trick because we held on to that card. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I have to win both of these, which seems highly unlikely. We'll see what happens. A one. I'm going to win this one. E. <laughs> it all comes down to this. So here's the thing, though. I can use this card to draw up seven more cards but then i have to play all seven of them and it's, i don't think this card's gonna win it, i um, mean let's do it no 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 yes no, no yes. it's higher than the no. average it's yes. five no but i but i'd have to match suit if i don't match suit i, I lose to? well or i lose mm. okay oh boy i don't know what i'm doing here that's five we're in trouble oh boy <laughs> Uh -oh. This was a mistake. Okay, well, so now we have three trump cards, and we can only win one more trick. So, and they're the two highest. You didn't, you didn't think this. We're gonna lose. Away, did you? We're just flat out gonna lose this. We'll play it out though. So, oh look, there's our seven, and we have the two high. Oh no, we can do a thing. Hold up. What thing? We can use this power to get rid of all of the eyes. Look at that. Now, we're still in trouble, but it's <laughs> less trouble. We have used all of our powers. We are out of powers. Okay, you ready? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's problematic because if you don't win the outside cards, you have to win every other one to win. This one gets discarded because we used it once. The jacks stay, and we keep going with the dialogue. Okay, we have to win the 
three in order to win. We managed to win all the others. <laughs> we don't cheat. That Wait, no, it's crazy. not cheating. We were just giving an example. So we managed to win all the others. We have to win the King of Leaves in order to win. I should give examples when we play stuff. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> Well, we got to win three. We should be able to win three. Yeah, three. Yeah, I mean, got a lot of low numbers. <laughs> okay, let's see how our dialogue with the King of Leaves... Look at it. It's so cute. Okay, with the King of Leaves goes. A seven of leaves, which I can beat, so I will. But should you? I'm, I have my doubts, but let's see what happens. So I did not beat the six. Um, a seven, which I cannot beat. Mm -hmm. So it looks like you made the right call. I the first <laughs> made the right call early on. A five, which I cannot beat. Uh -oh. This is starting to look a little sad. Oh no. Oh no. Six, which I cannot beat. Do you have any powers that would help? I do. Let's draw two cards and then discard two cards. That should be good, right? Oh boy. Okay, well, we're gonna get. We're in trouble. We're gonna get rid of these. And then, okay, let's see what happens. A three of eyes, oh goody. Okay. So, <laughs> all right, so we could draw back up to eight cards. I think that's our only option. We can't use this because we don't have any more neutral rulers. We don't have any cards, so that's our only option. We are not gonna win with a six and eight, so I think we have to go for it. So we're going to turn this one and draw back up. We're in trouble. A little bit. A little, a little bit. bit of trouble. We're in a little bit of trouble. Okay, so let's play it out. We have to win two more tricks, but no more than two more tricks. That's what has to happen here. So we're gonna play eight. Lose with the one. Seven, we can win, so let's do that. Wouldn't it have made more sense Six. to lose with the three? No. Oh, it's too late now. Well, we're losing with the three now, so okay. enjoy it. But thank you for your helpful advice. <laughs> There's a four. I have to win one more trick. Um, I'm going to get rid of the seven. That still lets us win if there's a blue one and it doesn't let us win two. Two. We're in trouble. Come on, eyes. Okay, I just need to win one, but not two. Come on, eyes. Oh no, which one do you think is going to come up? Because I, I got a ditch. I like one. blue. Okay, Let's go, well, eyes. If I lose now, it is Billy's fault. If flowers come up, I'm not the one playing. Leaves. Oh. So we only won two tricks, which means the King of Leaves did not want to talk to us. Oh. And therefore, we are done. We have visited all eight thieves. We're going to score for the ones that are friendly to us. So we scored 12. We would have needed 16 to win, which by the way, is not easy. So what we've also been doing is kind of keeping a running tally of what our best scores were. So <laughs> I realize that the rules say, if you get 16, you win. But you know, sometimes... My best score is a thousand. You didn't play... This is why you're not allowed to do the re reviews. <laughs> so a couple of final thoughts on for Northwood and whether or not it might be for you. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> 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 this is one of the most adorable games I've ever seen it's as so far as cute. the art goes. It really is. It's just so adorable and thematic. You have things like the parrot mimicking, the elephant remembers things, the fox is clever. So it's, it's not just that it's cute, but it's cute in a way that makes sense and moves the game forward. I just want to pick them all up and hug them. Oh, you should try and just talk them over onto your side. <laughs> Maybe they want hugs. I like that the base game is difficult enough to keep you engaged. I like that in that basic game, you're learning these four allies' powers. So as you go, you're getting familiar with the powers and how to use them. And as you get better at it, you can keep adding in the other royals. You have 24 royal cards and at any given time during the game, you should be using 12, which is gonna let you mix them up a lot. Once you get up to using those advanced cards, 
There's a lot of variability in the deck. You do have to... I just did the math. You are right. I had the... (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. You do have to plan ahead, which you can see kind of backfired. There is some luck here because you never lead the dialogue. The rulers always lead the dialogue. But it is the type of trick-taking game where it's not only can you win, but how many. You'll see that in other games like Fox in the Forest, like Skull King, where you want to win the right amount of tricks. Before I played this, I was not sure how you could play a trick-taking game solo. I didn't know how that would work in a way that would be a puzzle you would want to keep trying to solve. But I will tell you that I played this game more than any other game this month. So that's saying something about wanting to try over and over to solve the puzzle. (laughs) Pretty much every time I came up here, you were playing this. (laughs) So is this game for you? If you like trick-taking games, if you like solo games, then yes, I would absolutely recommend this. However, if you do not like trick-taking games, this will not change your mind. Because it is, as odd as that may seem, kind of a traditional trick-taking game. <laughs> it follows those same rules. So this isn't this isn't going to swing you over to trick-taking games. We sped this up for you so that you could kind of get a good idea of what would happen during a game and what that last round would come down to and feel like. But it takes about 30 minutes to play. It's the kind of solo game that I like. There's not a lot of setup. It's just a nice card game that should be relaxing, but somehow I managed to make it stressful. I feel like for most people, it's relaxing, though. (laughs) I take trick-taking games very seriously. (laughs) So all in all, this is a really fun game that you should take the time and take a look at and see if it's good for you. You think if you took them seriously, you'd win more? You know, (laughs) it's a solo game that you can also play while being mocked by someone sitting (laughs) at the table. If that sounds fun to you... (laughs) Or if maybe just playing a relaxing solo game sounds fun to you, then go take a look on GameFound. This campaign will be up shortly if it's not up already now, and I'll put all that information down below. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see. Or if you'd like to keep watching until we get one right. Then please like, subscribe, and share. If you want to follow us elsewhere on social media, all of that information, including how to join our Discord and jump in and chat with us, will be down below. As always, open tables, open minds, and play yourselves. Bye! Okay. (laughs) And the first shuffler. These are really nice cards, too. (laughs) They are, they're nice cards.